everyone, welcome back to Kyromox. Today, I'm here with a super practical video and I think you're gonna like it. This time, we're talking about the best times to post on social. And we're going through this platform by platform so that no matter what combination of these platforms you are using at your chiropractic practice, you know when the best times to post are. Um, before I dive into the actual details of these, I'll be filling them in with my trusty marker here, uh, I have one point that I want to make, and that is this. 80% of the U.S.'s population is in the Eastern and Central time zones. Uh, we here are based in the Central time zone, so we like to do all of our posts at a time that makes sense for those time zones. Um, of course, if your practic practice is in the Western time zone or Mountain time zone, then um, then use those time zones. Uh, most importantly, as always, is uh, do the time zone that makes sense for your audience. You might have to do a bit of testing to figure out what they prefer the best, um, and that'll go for all of these stats. But let, that's enough. That's enough of an intro. Let's get into it. Okay, so Facebook. I want to start with this one because Facebook is the giant. You're probably using Facebook. Um, so the best days to post for Facebook are Thursday through Sunday. So there's a four day, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, four day window there. Um, if you aim, if you're only going to do a couple posts, do it on these days. And then the best times within those days is 1 to 3 p.m. So, um, you know what, actually let's scratch it, 1 to 5 p.m. because um, you're hitting this demographic that is both working and people who are not working. So then you're getting, getting a good mix, 1 to 5 p.m. Thursday through Sunday. I'll fill that in for you. Okay, let's move right on to Twitter. Best day for Twitter is uh, Wednesday. Um, and uh, Twitter has a bunch of different times. Uh, 12 is good, 3 is good, 5 is good, and uh, one note, there's this uh, increase with Twitter on Wednesday, um, but also note that Twitter tends to be used more overall on the weekends. So here's another thing you might want to play around with. If your audience, just test it. See if your audience is more using Twitter on Wednesday or if more using Twitter on the weekends. Okay, now moving on to LinkedIn here. LinkedIn is generally used by the working world, business professionals. So um, the best days for LinkedIn is Tuesday through Thursday. Um, and the best times there are um, 7 to 8, noon, and then 5 to 6. So, I mean, it kind of makes sense because you want these times before, just before they start working at noon on a lunch break and then right around when work is ending. Um, so if you're using LinkedIn, consider posting at these times to see if your engagement goes up. Um, now let's talk about Pinterest. Pinterest is basically the exact opposite of LinkedIn. Um, one thing that I've studied about LinkedIn is that people tend to look at Pinterest, people tend to look at Pinterest kind of like the way that they would look at uh, watching television at night. It's kind of a after work event to sit down and start pinning. Um, so the best times are in the evening and preferably Saturday and Sunday. Um, so the specific times if you're looking for them, 8 to 11 p.m. is a good window to be doing a bunch of your pins if you're trying to build up your Pinterest engagement. Note though with Pinterest that pins have a long half-life um, and a long time in which they're relevant. So um, you'll probably be getting pins outside. You'll be getting repins at this time, but it could be on pins that you've pinned from a long time ago. Um, now, we'll go on to Instagram here. Uh, Instagram, because it's 
essentially only mobile. You can access it on desktop, but it's built for mobile first. Um, people are checking Instagram all the time. However, there's a couple good times, which is um, Monday and Thursday. That's what studies have shown. These are more popular days for checking in to Instagram. Um, and then there's a whole host of times. I'll just kind of sneak them in here. 8 to 9 a.m. is a good window. 2 to 5 p.m. is a good window. Um, and then 2 a.m. is a good window. Uh, I'm certainly not checking Instagram, but uh, apparently some people are. So again, test these out, see what is working for your audience. Okay, lastly, Google Plus. Uh, Google Plus is another other one that's popular on Wednesday. Wednesday specifically, 11 to 1. So covering that, that noon um, lunch break hour, this is when most people are on Google Plus. So you're probably not using all of these uh, because you've probably decided to focus your efforts on specific platforms. Totally fine. I'm hoping that this is a resource for you no matter what um, platform you decide to begin or what ones you're deciding to continue. Uh, and I have a couple, actually three specific pieces of advice that I want to leave you with today. Um, one, that you should be consistent. I've talked this whole video about testing, and that's entirely true, um, but make sure you have consistency in there. So don't just test one time, test out these time frames for weeks, and then test out a new one. And then once you've found what works, stay consistent. And as we've talked about in our social videos, Providing content frequently, consistent, consistently is the number one key to successful social media. So make sure you're doing that. Um, number two, which I've discussed multiple times in this video as well, know your audience. So if your audience is actually on Facebook the most on Monday, then post on Monday. Do what makes sense for your audience. And lastly, my third point here is reach out to us for help. Um, social is always changing. Um, you know, we'll probably do an update to this video in six months because you never know what's going to change with these social platforms. Um, so if you have questions, reach out to us and we're definitely happy to help. Um, I'll leave our contact information on the screen here so that you can get in touch and everything else will be in the description box below. Uh, otherwise, we'll see you next week for another video. Have a great weekend. Bye.